Today I'm concluding the archaeology lessons or the spring archaeology campaign with this fun archaeology test for beginners. With this test I will try and see how many things I have learned during the past month with all the archaeology games I played. So the test is uh, supposed to be fun, so there should be some fun questions like this first one, which is who is the archaeologist <laughs> protagonist? This is Arthur Dent, Indiana Jones or Tony Stark. Now if we have watched movies, we should know that Arthur Dent is a hero from the Hitcher's Guide to the Galaxy and Tony Stark is the Iron Man. So it remains our favorite archaeologist hero, this is Indiana Jones. Second question. The science of excavating fossils prior to the Holocene is called and this is uh, now harder, but let's see. Osteology is the science of uh, bones in general. Uh, geology is the science of earth and it remains the paleontology. Correct? So, next question. <coughs> the science of understanding humans is called and let's see, this, this one is stratigraphy, osteology or anthropology. So we know it is not osteology and uh, we know that this is not a stratigraphy. So stratigraphy is uh, more a, a geology branch, so it remains the anthropology. <coughs> okay, right? Next question. How old is the first human settlement? Let's see. This is uh, 400,000 years. Four hundred thousand. These thousands. <laughs> uh, well, that shouldn't be it because, as we know from previ previous games, is that uh, this is the uh, the time when uh, Homo sapiens appeared, but. Uh, these first humans, they lived in caves, so uh, there shouldn't be any settlements yet. And when actually Homo sapiens appeared, according to the Darwin theory that uh, recently I see a lot of people that uh, argue about Darwin, Darwin's theory. But it is fun because if something not doesn't affect the future. Why it is so dispute? Well, it's a good theory. Theory, I like it. It uh, it fits and it uh, uh, it gives future um, a good uh, potential to to say that. So ten years is uh, ten thousand years is uh, too little period. There have surely been uh, settlements there, like uh, the first uh, world wonders are, well, not uh, that much, but uh, four, six hundred years. So it is the second one, 125,000 years. Next question. Where is tomb of Khufu located? So let's see. Machu Picchu is uh, part of the Inca history and Khufu doesn't sound like uh, an Inca king, like let's say Pachacuti. <laughs> so it's not that. Let's see, the mausoleum of Halikarnax uh, is uh, in today's Turkey and uh, it uh, sounds like some uh, Arabian king. But it mostly sound like an Egyptian king. So I will choose the Great Pyramid of Giza. 
and I'm correct. So, next question. Where is Trakian treasure found? It's, let's see, America, China and Europe. <coughs> uh, this uh, should be just known from previous games that uh, the Trakians have been tribe in, in Eastern Europe. <coughs> okay, le next question. Uh, well, I'm keeping this outfit for now. Objects, one of interest to the archaeologists, are called gadgets, items, artifacts. Well, we all have some gadgets uh, rolling around in the house. Uh, item, everything uh, may be called item. So, this is artifact. And this, uh, this uh, leads us to the next question. question. This is artifacts which have uh, exceptional beauty, usage and usage and uh, desired by people, no place for all questions, are called and uh, that should be antiques. Antiques. Well, my uh, school mark grade is uh, rising and until I'm done, I, I plan to have uh, an A mark. <laughs> so, let's see. Question 9. Which is one of the earliest systems of writing? Kirlik, uh, cuneiform script, script or ASCII 2 code? Let's see. Kirlik shouldn't be it. It is uh, an Eastern language. Cuni, uh, cuneiform script sounds like the correct answer and ASCII 2 code is uh, used in uh, today's programming. And uh, we will look at uh, some interesting uh, informational technology lessons later in this year. So we are choosing cuneiform script. Next question. The astronomical, the, the astronomical configuration of ancient monuments uh, maybe is part of uh, what geology, no, archaeoastronomy, mm -hmm, sounds like it, is stratigraphy, not stratigraphy, so this is archaeoastronomy. <coughs> Next question. Uh, so those questions are from the excavation games. Most medieval weapons are found around battlefields, battlefields, Precambrian rocks, or 20 to 55, 55 miles uh, below the surface. And the obvious uh, answer is the battlefield sites. Next question. This is uh, this is a question from the marine archaeology, marine archaeology. Uh, Titanic sunken remain, remainings are located in, let's see, Indian Ocean, Pacific, Pacific Ocean or Atlantic Ocean. Uh, now, it is definitely not uh, one of these two oceans. For what we know even from movies, that Titanic was traveling from Europe um, to the US. So, it should be the Atlantic Ocean. Next question. Preserved remains of animals and plants are found are found in, let's see, fossils, water, ancient tombs. Uh, now I am almost sure that the correct answer is fossils, because it is correct. But it uh, it may be possible that a mummy is a, a remain of uh, well, if humans are animals. Uh, is uh, remainings that are well preserved. But uh, enough thinking. Let's use memory. Memory. So next question: Most gemstones are created, and the answer during Ordovian period, uh, 20 to 55 miles below the surface, 
which is the correct knowing from the games and places with low pressure uh, now this is not the last answer because actually gems need uh, high pressure and not low pressure uh, and it is pretty probable that some gems may, be, may have been formed during the Ordovician period or and why not but this is the correct answer 12, 20 to 55 miles below the surface the, uh, this is a, a sure answer so question 15 which is the era ruled by the dinosaurs dinosaurs and that uh, now everyone should know this is the mesozoic era the era of the dinosaurs next question is about the eras again which is the era ruled by the fishes and marine species mm. uh, so we can exclude paleozoic era and uh, we remain with the cenozoic and the paleozoic era and uh, we know from pre previous games and lessons that the Paleozoic era is the first era, era uh, where the world um, was most uh, on one big ocean and there were a lot of marine life. And next question. The branch of geology which studies rocks, rock, layer, rock layers is called and this is stratigraphy because uh, excluding method it it's not anthropology it's not osteology so it is stratigraphy and the last question which is the era ruled by the mammals that should be the last era or last um, recorded era that we are still in and this is the cenozoic era when the dinosaurs are no more and mammals can thrive So I got uh, my excellent mark, so I have been a good student. And uh, this is everything about spring archaeology. We are moving to another branch of the science and uh, I will tell this it now, this is astronomy. Yay!